Hey guys, boys, peeps. So, I have a problem. I have a lot of hats. I need to organize my hats. I started organizing my hats. There, some of them are. I made a board and then just put PVC through it and screwed it through but that only hangs like seven hats I've got a lot more hats <laughs> including the one I'm wearing and then I've got other hats over here hats inside of hats inside of hats so I'm a little bit stopped up, but today, basically, I'm just going to show you how to make a cheap hat rack. Well, it's not cheap. If you have the materials, it's cheap. If you don't have the materials, then it's not as cheap. So, we're heading out to the barn. Let's go. Alright, uh, we're in the barn. I just have to find a piece of wood long enough. I need a 56 inch, uh, preferably a 1x4, but I mean like a 1x6 is fine too. So we'll just look for that. And this is our little back of the barn section where we keep our wood and our lumber. It looks like just garbage in here when I do this, but it's not. It's actually organized to a point you just have to be one of us to know <laughs> where stuff is and be honest with you there's a solid 92% of the time where I don't know where stuff is at but my dad does so yeah Let's see if we can find some wood <sighs> hmm see any wood I don't see any wood There's some, there's some one buys down there. That's a good piece of wood right there. The only thing is that it's green. And the first one I showed you guys in my room little Bowie was white and I really want to like polish them and make them look good but I don't think I will I just there's like no one is ever in my room <laughs> yeah I put a uh, <laughs> I put a lock on my door it's like a what's it called it's a sledge hundred dollar deadbolt lock that I put on there so um, yeah I don't really like people in my room and there's never really anybody in there so I think I'm good with that let's get this board cut down because it's way over 56 inches and then I'll show you from there if you're interested because I forgot to look at this end and see if this is a clean end or not. And I don't know if you can see that, but that's not a cleaned end and that needs to be fixed. So I have to cut the end off, just shave it a little bit. And we have a special tool for this, but it's in the other barn and I don't want to walk over there, so I'm just going to use this. 
and be careful. I'm gonna take a spatula because I can't find my brush and I'm just gonna wipe off stuff. Kind of clean a little bit. Spatula. If you uh, ever want to clean your boards with spatulas, just grab an old spatula. Everyone should have one. Uh, get innovative like SpongeBob and you'll be good. Plus, they're good for like smacking. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not feeling very well, so if I say some stupid stuff, I'm kind of apologizing when I shouldn't, so sorry. Spatula. That's like... That's like 60% cleaner. Special. Now... This... This is going to be the side that shows. The green is not. I don't want green in the... Okay, green is my favorite color, but this, I don't want brown in there either. I really should paint this. I'm gonna find some spray paint. Okay, I've got uh, Krylon white for outdoor, whatever, and then crystal clear coat. Just because. No reason. Just because. Remember that board that I threw, that plywood I threw over there because it was in my way? Now I need that. That's also the same plywood I lay on when I change my oil in my truck. Let's go. Alright, now I should probably sand this down and you know, all that good stuff, not going to happen because I don't care. I'm going to once again repeat spatula because there's more dirt now. That's not smooth. I will be doing both sides. Also, I hope that humming from the light up there doesn't really annoy anybody. I'm working with like a four year old Panasonic recorder. Been looking into newer stuff, but I'm broke as shit. So, I'll get there.
Jacob. Okay. This is a uh, this is two inch PVC. It says somewhere, but it's two inch PVC. We have three inch, and I want to use three inch, but I've already cut this up, so we're going to use this. Also, I'm going to need to cut more because I've only got five, and I need like twelve. So. no idea how big this is I found it actually on the floor <laughs> Now, when you hang this up, your screw, when you hang this up, your screw is going to be on top and people are going to see underneath. Hopefully there's going to be a hat concealing because this is not a very good looking thing, but just for a quick fix, it works. No one will see your screw.
got to finish this up and then measure another board and do the exact same thing again. So, yeah. Well, I might not paint the next board. I don't know. That takes a long time. I'm going to put some more PVC pipe. I'm going to try something that I don't think is safe. But if it works, that's awesome. I've never cut PVC on this table before. And I don't know if it's a smart thing or a non-smart thing to do. But I want to do it. Here we go. another saw that's going to cut this down even more. Be right back. squeeze one more in on this board. Now let's go install it. Let's go. Well, this is the uh, finished product. You've got two rows of hats, an additional, an additional rack up here, but it's got like six hats on it and five pegs, so it's overlapping, which is fine. But oh, here are my hats. So, can't wait to get more hats and make more racks. All right, well that will do it. Uh, yeah, 
So we've got the racks up, got Minecraft in the background. I'm gonna play a few hours of that. I love Minecraft, that's my <clears throat> my game. I have a lot of games, but that's one of my favorites. Anyway, that'll be all for today, boys. Thank you for watching the video and thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. This is a random channel, so just anything could happen. Alright, have a good day. Peace out.